Hey guys, before we start the video, I would also like to make this special announcement. I've been working on this uh, side project with another friend, Chris Desu. Check out his channel, it's a lot of fun. I've been doing some voice acting for this series called Homesick Adventures, which is like your typical RPG comedy series. Uh, it's all a machinima. It involves a guy, a girl, a talking book, and a talking dog. And I actually voice the talking dog in this series. So feel free to check it out. A slight warning though, this series is very heavy on the profanity, so I recommend uh, an audience like 16 or older. So without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, Duke and Dude here. First and foremost, Happy New Year. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything to the channel. Keep in mind, in my last video, I stated that I'm currently working as a teacher in a high school. And, uh, well, it has been very time consuming. Also, because of the holiday break, I was with family. I wanted to actually work on something on the channel, but a lot of things just got really busy, even during the holiday season. So, uh, sorry for the, uh, the hiatus. It was kind of a forced hiatus. But let's see what we can do this time around. So I figured, why not start with a Let's Play, this time with Smash Brothers. Um, regarding Smash Brothers, well, I've, I've played Smash ever since, like, the first game, like, 99. I, I've only rented the game back in the day, but I've never really, like, um... I never really owned my own copy of the Smash on, on 64. I do have a copy of, of Melee on the GameCube. I do have a copy of Brawl, but apparently that got uh, that got scratched over time and unfortunately doesn't work properly. Now I got this uh, Wii U version. <laughs> I don't have the 3DS version yet. Um, technically, I kind of have the, the Switch version, but uh, that's not exactly mine. It's, it's more my niece's Switch. And she actually downloaded the vanilla version. She hasn't downloaded the... Uh, the DLC pack yet, but I would really like to check out the other characters: uh, Hero, Piranha Plants, Terry Bogard, and Joker, just to see out of curiosity, like how do they play? I mean, I'm mostly hyped over uh, mostly hyped over Terry Bogard so far, and yet we're still curious as to who is going to be the fifth uh, DLC character. I mean, there are rumors circling here and there. I know there are a lot of fans that want Gino. Very unlikely. I know there are fans that want Goku for some reason. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good fit. <clears throat> but um, when it comes to Smash Brothers, the, the current DLC, I think the, the one option would, that would probably make the most sense, I would say Dante from Devil May Cry. Because we need a character that kind of balances things out with Bayonetta. That's like my best theory so far. Now the Wii U kind of have like mixed uh, mixed results. Yeah, I got this Wii U. I bought it from a friend of mine who actually like moved out of the country. So let's see. Now it the Wii U was kind of underrated, but then again, it's because of the tablet that really affected its sales. There was just a lot of confusion as to like who this console was directed to. So, so that's kind of the problem with why this, the console didn't sell very well. Yeah, I'm just testing the lag issues, the input, just to make sure everything will be fine. Because I don't know if the, if I'm experiencing lag during the recording or or if this is just like input lag from the uh, from the connection. But let's see. One on one. Okay, Heisenberg. Let's see what we can do here, buddy. Okay. As you can see, Link has always been my main ever since the first Smash. So let's give this one a go. Okay, let's ra let's rock. Captain Falcon. Yo! Oh, somebody feels flashy. Part of my language. Oh! 
That's where you get for showing off. Good game. Yeah, Captain Falcon is a speed demon. Gotta be careful with these guys. These Captain Falcon players. What I've noticed about these uh, professional Captain Falcon players is that boy, they can get aerial, they can get abusive, and sometimes they just love to spike. They spike you like a volleyball. Alright. Let's go with the mag attack. Just be gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with the forward B attack. Because that flying haymaker can send you flying. One false move and you're gone. Dang it. Being abusive. God, I'm just being tossed around. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, screw it. I don't have a chance with this guy. <coughs> I'm gonna have to find someone else to fight. Let's see who else can appear in this wheelchair. What kind of a username is that? Oh, it's easy. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get back on a little bit of a neck. As you can see, you gotta be very careful when you do the forward B with Little Mac because that flying haymaker can. It's like one false move and that flying haymaker can really, uh. just throw you off course. Bayonetta? Oh dear. That never-ending pitfall. That's a reference to the first game. I actually have both games, one and two. I've only played a little bit of the first one, I haven't played the second one yet. Oh, you know, they countered that one. Ugh. You got lucky. Stop spamming, you stupid. Take that. Nope. Ugh, sucker punched. Nope. 
Oh, I hate that combo. That KO comes in handy. 